So I'm here with my boy Rush, um, Russell Jones. Went through Commit, Westwood PG. What's good with you, man? What's up, bro? So, man, uh, I want to jump right into it and talk about, you know, what just happened on the gram like a week ago. I know we put up that poll on, uh, <laughs> we put that poll on social media and we asked, you know, basically the state, were you the best point guard? And 151 people said yeah. But 80 people said no. How does that How does that make you feel, man? I mean, I like the love from the 150 people. But, you know, I'm more worried about that 80, the 80 people that said no. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this season, I just, that's a lot of people to prove wrong. And, you know, I'm going to prove them all wrong. I'm, by the end of the season, I'm going to show people why I, I feel like I'm the best point guard in the state of South Carolina. What makes you different? You know, what makes Russell Jones, Russell Jones? Uh, the chip on my shoulder, you know. I feel like I have a lot of people to prove wrong just for the fact that me being 5'6". Mm -hmm. a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people didn't think that I could get to the point I'm where, I'm where, where I am right now. Mm -hmm. But all you can do really is work, you know. Bump other people's opinions. As long as you work on your game and know what you can do and believe in yourself, that's key. And most importantly, you know, once you keep God first in your life and you just trust in Him, you know, it might be, be some things that you don't know that you feel like, why is this not happening to me? But it might not be what God has for you at that time, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I think that's what makes me me. Um, my faith in God, you know, my relationship in God, but my work ethic too. Mm -hmm. And the people that I have in my corner, like my mom, my dad, my sister, my family, my coaches, and my trainers. The reason I'm really doing this is because I see the amount of work you yeah. put in, um, and, you, and you work with uh, Rob Rose. Talk about y'all relationship, man, because he's a very good dude. Yeah. Man, that's that's my big brother, really. Um, he started out like five years ago. Um, after my freshman season, we didn't make the playoffs. And I was hurt, but I didn't even, my workout freshman season was not how it was. Now, um, Rob hit me up. He said, it's time to get in the gym. Let's work. And, you know, we, I've been working with him ever since then. And that's been my main trainer. Um, you know, and when, he's never going to, like, gas my head or nothing. If I have 30, he's always critiquing me like, oh, you could have done this better. You could have made more shots. Could have had 40, you know. And the work the work this offseason was, this has been my most productive offseason going into any season. Just for the fact that two, we did two days all June, along with practice for Westwood, we did two days all June. And it wasn't a workout where I was working with people that was my age. Mm -hmm. Every workout I was working out with pros, Devin Downey, Carlos Powell, Cam Lee, college player Seven Woods, Zay Miller. Mm -hmm. So it was, Jeez. and after the work, we did once, King of the Court. So, you know, beginning of the summer, them boys was killing. Yeah, they was killing But towards the summer went on, I started getting in and started doing moves on them too. Yeah. So it would be, they would still be killing me, but I would be still getting my rocks off too. Mm -hmm. So I think this summer has been a summer of growth and I can see the changes in my game. I can see the difficult shots I'm hitting. I can see the IQ getting there, the moves getting there. It's, the game is coming easier mm -hmm. just off the of offseason. That work, the work, the work. Sheesh, work so. sheesh. What is, your, what is your end goal? What is some of your personal goals and team goals that you have for this season? Um, for this season, you know, I just want to – Get better in all categories, all stats. Mm -hmm. Average at least two a game, five assists, three steals. Mm -hmm. You know, affect the game in many ways other than scoring. Um, be that leader for my team, as I have been. Just get better every day. Um, you know, our team 
we embrace the underdog role because that's what we've been yeah. for a couple of years. You know, yeah. our grind in the off season has been crazy. Um, I feel like we've been working the yeah. hardest working team in the state. Yeah. Tell me about your team, man. You you got another guard that's with you. Um, that's very like underrated, yeah. but has skill. Um, kind of talk about um, that lap, man, and what he brings to man. the table. Tajay, he's a game changer, man. That's my dog. Um, you know, he's real quiet, but he'll kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I feel like we the best backcourt in the state, mm -hmm. South Carolina right now. And, you know, my dog, really, he really underrated right now. Mm -hmm. But he's going to burst onto the scene. You know, last year he had some games. Um, especially that Ridge you game where mm -hmm. he, he like burst onto the scene. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen the play? And he wants people. <laughs> um, my boy, my boy, really tough. And, you know, when he gets in his mode, is no stopping him. So it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a scary scene for the rest of the teams in the state this year. Talk about the matchups and like people you consider to even be close to you. Like who are you excited to play against? Uh, you know, th well this year, you know, I'm going up against my boys Trey and Way. You know, I feel like the matchups every game is going to be heated, mm -hmm. you know. Then my brother's off the court, but, you know, on the court is no friends. Mm. So, you know, you know how that goes. And, you know, I beat Wade last year, as Wayne did a video on that. And Wade got me last year, too. But he ended up winning the state, and I did. Mm. Um, and I didn't play Trey last year, but me and the rivalry back Trey, and we're going to get it popping. Mm. Uh, I have to say, you match up with Hartsville, too. Trey Hannibal, that's my dog. Um, he's tough. We both bring different aspects to the game. Yeah. But I'm happy, you know, I'm ready for that matchup too. <laughs> so it's what it is. So your college decision, man, going to Winthrop, you know, you had other schools after you, you, you had interest from a lot of schools. What made Winthrop so appealing, man? Like uh, what made Winthrop appealing? Um, I remember I took my first unofficial in May, um, and the school just hit off. Um, you know everything that they have as a program, top notch program. Um, being top of the conference at least every year, at least getting to the championship if not winning. Um, the players that they have, the the test school there, Adidas test school. So you know the gear is nice. Mm. Um, the school is nice. Rock Hill is a good area right from Charlotte. Most definitely. So I mean, what made it appealing to me was all of those things in the coaching staff. Coach Kelsey, Coach Klo, um, Coach Highland, Coach G, you know, they just hit it off well. Um, and, you know, they have a mentorship program, you know, for not just basketball, but what I want to do in my major. I have a mentorship. What's your major? Um, sports, sports management, mm. that's what I want to do. Um, and, you know, just the things as a program that they have, I felt like it would set me up for the rest of my life after basketball. Um, and they had Keon Johnson the year before came in leading score on um, five seven. That's the young shot five, dude, yeah. five seven killer, you know. So it wasn't like they had a six five guard before me. They had a five seven guard before me. So I know they not gonna trip over my height. Um, you know, and the chance to come into play right away. Um, two point guards leaving that are seniors. So it's really open for me. Um, and just the family feel about it, right close to home, the coaches, mm. um, the school is a great school. So those were the things that influenced my decision. Um, and Chase? And Chase. <laughs> the, the, the deal with me and Chase, man, that's my dog. And we, we was on the business and we was talking um, that, that Thursday night. You know, he was like, man, I was like, man, what you thinking? He was like, I'm gonna commit this weekend. I was like, yeah, me too. I ain't ah. We already knew what we was doing. And we tried to get Trey too, but you know, my boy had our state. He had the power fives. We couldn't. couldn't yeah. Really. My boy tough. We wanted him, but I mean, me and Chase gonna do big things that went through. We back, you know, with the young Goldie. Uh, the young superstar. We're having a, a, a little cypher, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna spit a little bars and we gonna, you know, see what my boy Russ got. You know he's yeah. good off the uh, on the court. See we you know, let's see what he got off the court. So you ready, bro? Yeah. Alright, let's turn it off. Okay. You know I came to play. Ooh. 
spitting buckets. That's my favorite play. Oh, so with the between the legs cross over. You can't guard me cause I got you falling over. Mm. Uh, hit you with the hezzy. A I cross. Mm. Call me Russell Jones. Mm. I'm the boss. Mm. Best PG. Yeah. In the state. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. I don't play. Yeah. This is Uncle Brain. Yeah. This is fresh. Yeah. Boy. Oh, I lost it. Mm. In the good, good. Mm. Only to the hood. Uh. Not the real hood. Just yeah. my neighborhood. About to go see my girl. Yeah. You gonna know see my world. Yeah. She, oh. Yeah. That's my baby. She my little rider. Come to the games as my little rider. Ooh. Number two on the court. Number one in her heart. Yeah. I don't play darts, Ooh. I just hoop, you already know, Yeah. buckets all I know, Yeah. I drop them to the floor, Yeah. pick them back up, Ooh. drop them again, Ooh. coming at you boys, Ooh. I came to win, Ooh. Westwood, we the best in the state, Ooh. no, we don't come to play, Ooh. got my boy Tajay in the back, cut with me, who can rock with us? I don't think y'all see Ooh. the work we put in, Ooh. the grind that we had, yeah. the money all we wanna do. We already mad. Ooh. They I'm almost done. It's almost off the brain. Ooh. I make it rain. Money in my pocket daily, getting to the grind. That's my lady. Ooh. Basketball, my girl. Yeah. I love her so. Yeah. Get to the money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> I'm out of bars. <laughs> I'm gonna pass it back. <laughs> Rattle tat tat. Tat tat. We gon' get it. We always slap when we get it. We always get it. Back to the back. You know we got it. Like we mad. I'm talking crazy. I'm talking like I got off of a lady. I'm talking like I'm quaver with the baby. I got the baby. I got the smoothie. We got the ladies. Ooh, I didn't make sense there. I'm out of breath. Need to hit the gym tomorrow, cause I'm out of breath. I'm done. <laughs> he ain't my son, but we getting money. Yeah. And we having fun. Yeah. My boy's the nastiest. Talking like we can get it, we never gonna be no blasphemous. Yeah. The beat is almost over. So is the interview. My boy is good. And y'all are boo boo. We out. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that wraps it up. Listen, uh, follow my boy Russell Jones on social media at I am Russ. Uh, Twitter baller Russ. Mm -hmm. uh, get at me, you know. Any last words, man, for the for the haters and the naysayers, man? It's a lot of people talking. Man. Set them straight, bro. <clears throat> y'all keep hating, I'ma just prove all y'all wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got a, I got a lot to show y'all. I got a lot to prove this year. Mm -hmm. um, and we coming. Mm -hmm. We coming for everything.